Are you ready to start on a journey that will challenge everything you thought you knew about the pyramids? Prepare to be captivated as we reveal the secrets hidden within these ancient wonders. But hold on tight because what we're about to reveal will leave you astounded more than likely. Imagine a pyramid rising majestically above the desert floor. But what if I told you that this iconic symbol of ancient Egypt is more than meets the eye? Beneath its exterior lies a labyrinth of tunnels, stretching endlessly into the depths of history. Curious? For centuries, the pyramids have intrigued scholars and adventurers alike. Yet one man stood out amongst them all, Nikola Tesla, the mysterious inventor who shaped the 20th century. Surprisingly, Tesla's insatiable curiosity led him straight to the pyramids, where he made a breathtaking discovery. What did Tesla find hidden within these architectural marvels? Get ready to witness history in a way that you've never imagined. The truth awaits, and it's more terrifying than you could have ever conceived. Nikola Tesla, a brilliant scientist of his time, was the mastermind behind countless technological breakthroughs that have shaped our world today. From the convenience of Wi-Fi to the marvel of AC electrical supply systems, his ideas have revolutionized the way that we live. Yet, it's a tragic reality that Tesla's genius went entirely unrecognized and unappreciated during his lifetime. At the tender age of 20, Tesla's thirst for knowledge led him down a path that would forever change the way that we perceive the pyramids. These ancient structures, constructed from a staggering 2.5 million stone bricks and weighing 6 million tons, have long captivated the imagination of the world. However, amidst the sea of theories and conspiracies surrounding the pyramids, Tesla dared to find the truth. Some claim that extraterrestrial beings gifted the blueprint for the pyramids, as their architectural complexity seemed beyond the capabilities of ancient civilizations. But history tells of a different tale. The ancient Egyptians were home to some of the finest architects, scientists, astronomers, and mathematicians of their time, debunking such otherworldly theories. Others believe the pyramids to be grand tombs for Egypt's esteemed rulers, but evidence suggested otherwise. Mummies discovered in Egypt were laid to rest far away from the pyramids, leading to the dismissal of this notion. While some perceived the pyramids as mere aesthetic marvels, Tesla believed that they held a greater significance. Immersing himself in countless books and ancient texts, Tesla became engrossed in the notion that the pyramids stored an immense amount of energy within their ancient walls. Curiosity consumed him as he pondered the origins of this extraordinary energy source, especially considering it existed at a time when electricity was, was scarcely known. Tesla dared to envision a possibility far beyond the comprehension of his contemporaries. He hypothesized that the pyramids harbored advanced technology, surpassing the capabilities of their era. He was convinced that these architectural wonders used electromagnetic processes to accumulate their extraordinary stores of energy. Tesla further theorized that the pyramids may have been constructed using crystals, using their innate energy, while the inner chambers acted as conduits for direct electromagnetic fields. He even speculated that the stones used in their construction possessed unique qualities, allowing them to capture energy from sunlight. The intriguing theory surrounding the purpose of the pyramids all pointed to one captivating idea. These majestic structures were designed as reservoirs of energy, waiting to be used and distributed to power cities. In 1905, Tesla presented his groundbreaking concepts in a patented paper called The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Media in the United States. Tesla envisioned a network of strategically placed generators around the globe, tapping into the ionosphere to extract electrical energy. According to Tesla, the Earth itself acted as an immense electrical generator, teeming with boundless energy, revolving around its magnetic poles. Interestingly, Tesla believed that the pyramid's location held more significance for energy retention than their distinctive shape. Understanding the role of positioning, he deviated from the triangular structures and instead designed towers. However, it's worth noting that these towers shared a common feature with the pyramids. That being their pointed tips. One of Tesla's experimental towers, known as the Tesla Experimental Station, was constructed at the base of Pikes Peak in Colorado Springs. Another tower, the Tesla Tower, was erected on the East Coast. Tesla meticulously adhered to the principles governing pyramid placement when choosing the sites for the two electrical towers. He also took into account the planet's elliptical orbit, ensuring precise positioning. Tesla's tower construction was rooted in his theories on how the Earth could conduct electrical signals through metal. These two towers aimed to transmit and receive wireless data from unlimited energy, even spanning as far as France. However, Tesla's mysterious passing in 1943 halted the realization of these ambitious goals. This groundbreaking project, with its monumental advancements, could have cemented Tesla's name alongside the greatest innovators in history. 
Yet, humanity is fortunate that his legacy didn't perish with him. His ideas, his discoveries transcended his lifetime. Those who followed in his footsteps delved into his research and his notes and journals, uncovering invaluable insights. His pioneering studies have laid the foundation for many of the technologies that we enjoy today. In the quest to discover the mysterious secrets of Egypt's pyramids, Tesla's work has proven to be an invaluable guide, illuminating our understanding of these ancient wonders. Also, Tesla had a peculiar obsession with certain numbers, 3, 6, and 9. To him, these numbers held immense significance for every living being on Earth. It's interesting to think how these numbers influenced his choices and preferences, even in his mathematics. Tesla's fixation on three and its multiples were so strong that he would adamantly refuse anything that didn't lead to this magical number. Now, before we label him as just eccentric, let's try and understand his perspective. Tesla believed that the figures three, six, and nine were the fundamental numbers of a universal mathematical language containing the key to life's mysteries. Even his decisions were made in groups of three, and he ensured his calculations were always producing results divisible by three. Instead of dismissing his behavior as erratic and again eccentric, perhaps we should consider the notion that life does follow mathematical principles, presenting itself in patterns. Could Tesla have been attempting to unlock hidden truths through these number patterns? Perhaps he was seeking ancient wisdom tied to the pyramids through his fascination with threes and their multiples. Now, let's shift our focus to the magnificent Pyramid of Giza. This ancient wonder stands aligned with the compass in a way that reflects a level of precision only achievable with modern engineering techniques. Composed of approximately 2.5 million stone bricks, the pyramid boasts a staggering weight of around 6 million tons. Scaling a height of 481 feet and occupying an area of about 13 acres, this structure is nothing short of marvelous. But here's where it gets even more surprising. By aligning this monumental edifice with a mere 1 15th of a degree of true north, this precision achieved is as close to perfection as one can imagine. The architect who designed and measured the pyramid clearly had an understanding of Earth's size. If we multiply the pyramid's height by 43,200, we arrive at a figure astonishingly close to 39,386.85 miles, which is just 11 miles off the Earth's polar radius. That is an accurate calculation to about 99.7%. So, yeah. But wait, there's more. Multiplying the pyramid's base perimeter of 3,024 by the same factor of 43,200 yields a result of approximately 24,734.94 miles, which is just about Earth's equatorial circumference. This figure achieves an accuracy of 99.3%. The pyramids and their mysterious design continue to leave us in wonder. As we explore further, we may uncover even more astonishing secrets concealed within these ancient structures. Now, in the vast realm of dating and scientific research, a fascinating puzzle emerges when we examine the construction of the Pyramid of Giza. Surprisingly, this majestic wonder was built during the Dark Ages, leaving us perplexed about the ancient builder's ability to, you know, achieve such precision. Could they possess knowledge far beyond what we have perceived? Looking into the mystery, we find a curious connection between their fascination with equinoxes and Earth's dimensions. For those unfamiliar, an equinox occurs when the sun's paths intersects the equator, creating equal lengths of day and night. Some argue that the correlation between Earth's size and equinox is a mere chance, but we can't just dismiss that so hastily, can we? Engineer Glenn Dash challenges the notion that ancient Egyptians aligned the pyramids using the pole star or the sun's shadow. Instead, he proposes a different compelling theory. They might have utilized the power of the autumnal equinox. To illustrate this possibility, Dash conducted a remarkable experiment using a gnomon rod. Casting a shadow on the first day of the autumn equinox in 2016, he meticulously tracked the shadow's movement at various intervals, forming a smooth curve of points. By intercepting these curves with a taut string, an astonishing near-perfect line stretched from east to west, known as the Indian Circle Method. Although the experiment took place in Connecticut, its principles apply equally to the construction of the Great Pyramid in Egypt. A minor measurement error of 0.05 degrees arose, but it is inconsequential. Intriguingly, despite the pyramid's triple or hexagonal formations, three of them align flawlessly with the Orion constellation. However, the mysteries don't stop there. Meet the number 43,200. How you doing? Nice to meet you. A figure of immense significance, representing the Earth's axial precession. It also corresponds to a multiple of the Earth's wobbling cycle, occurring every 72 years. 
The numbers 72 and 472, with their revered presence in various mythologies and ancient religious texts, poses an air of sacredness. In Jewish Kabbalah, 72 is regarded as the number of languages spoken during the Tower of Babel's moment of confusion. As we explore the depths of ancient wisdom, we discover connections that transcend time and culture. The mysterious pyramids, with their unparalleled precision and alignment, hint at a profound knowledge possessed by the builders of antiquity. On the other hand, in the realm of music, a mystical frequency called 432 Hertz is whispered to be the ultimate key. And in the ancient Hindu Rig Veda, a profound discovery awaits, a staggering total of 432,000 syllables. Could it be that the ancient Egyptians possessed a mathematical language and hidden patterns? It seems as if we're just scratching the surface of these astonishing revelations. But there is more to this puzzle. The meticulous precision with which ancient builders measured their pyramids can't be dismissed as just chance. When their dimensions are multiplied by the sacred number of 432,000, a remarkable correlation emerges. These magnificent structures align perfectly with the dimensions of our planet. Now, is that a coincidence, or is something greater at play? Yet, despite these breathtaking revelations, one crucial piece of evidence eludes us. The true purpose of the pyramids. Constructed with limestone and an array of materials, these colossal monuments hold secrets within their very core. The stones, brought from faraway lands, fit together with such perfect tightness that there's barely any room to spare. It's as if they were assembled to withstand the test of time. Take a moment to imagine the effort involved in transporting the casing stones from a quarry over 500 miles away. These massive slabs, meticulously cut and shaped, now grace the exterior of the Great Pyramid. But there's something unique about this white tufa limestone. It possesses the power to insulate electricity. As the story develops, we keep looking out there for answers. Did the pyramids serve a purpose beyond their majestic appearance? Could they have been masterpieces designed to use and distribute energy? Within the depths of the magnificent Great Giza Pyramid lie chambers crafted from materials that possess an astonishing property, the ability to conduct electricity. Imagine a structure that not only contains immense power, but also grants control over its release. But that's not all. The inner bricks of the pyramid were constructed using a unique type of limestone, rumored to contain minute crystals and metals. These crystals hold a remarkable capability, enabling the transmission of energy at its maximum potential. Now let's shift our focus to the brilliant mind of Nikola Tesla, who made an intriguing connection between his own groundbreaking work and the mysterious Pyramid of Giza. How did he discover the secrets that fueled his bold ideas? Well, it all boils down to three vital components integrated into the pyramid's design, allowing for the marvels of wireless power transmission. Firstly, we have the Radiant Sun, a celestial entity that plays a pivotal role. Secondly, the presence of water beneath the pyramids adds another dimension to this intricate puzzle. And finally, constructing the pyramids to precise heights holds tremendous significance. Why? Well, the answer lies in the air that fills the space between the pyramids' layers. The air serves as a conduit, enabling the energy to flow effortlessly towards the pinnacle of the structure. It's worth noting that at the tops of the pyramids were adorned with the shimmering brilliance of gold, a metal chosen by the ancient Egyptians for its exceptional electrical conductivity. In essence, the mysteries of the Great Giza Pyramid and Tesla's visionary ideas intersect through a harmony of elements. The pyramid's conductive chambers, coupled with the strategic alignment of the sun and the presence of water and the ideal heights, reveal a tale of remarkable innovation and power. The pyramids of Egypt, with their majestic beauty, were not just stunning structures. They also held hidden secrets within their design. Could you imagine if these ancient wonders had a way of utilizing wireless energy? It may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but recent research suggests that the pyramids were indeed capable of concentrating electromagnetic energy. Now in 2018, a group of scientists decided to investigate the pyramids' energy-focusing capabilities they used radio waves of varying frequencies to test if the pyramids would respond to electromagnetic waves. Astonishingly, the experiment revealed that the pyramids concentrated this energy within their inner chambers and at their base. But what's even more incredible is the fact that the builders of these pyramids seem to have tapped into the Earth's natural vibration. The Earth's vibration is derived from the tidal energy created by the moon's gravitational pull. By aligning the pyramid's construction with this energy source, they created a structure that harmonized with the Earth's vibrations. Tesla recognized the potential of this technology. He was inspired by the pyramids and aimed to replicate their energy harnessing capabilities. 
testless towers like the East Coast Tower were designed to draw on power of aquifers. By connecting the tower's copper and iron rods to an aquifer's water, electricity could be transmitted into the atmosphere. Buildings with receivers on their rooftops could then capture that atmospheric electricity, similar to how a lightning rod operates. Interestingly, the Great Pyramid of Giza also incorporated the aquifer principle. Built over an aquifer and near the Nile, the pyramid utilized the water's movement to create electric currents at its base. These currents were then channeled up to the pyramid's golden apex, which reveals that the concept of hydroelectricity has been known for centuries. If Tesla's wireless tower power distribution system and the Giza pyramid had been fully realized, imagine the clean and limitless energy that that could have provided. The technology existed to tap into the Earth's resonance and unlock an abundant source of sustainable power. So while the pyramids continue to amaze us with their architectural splendor, these remarkable structures remind us that the quest for innovative energy solutions is not just a modern thing. As we explore the mysteries of the past, we find inspiration for a future where clean and unlimited energy may be within our grasp. In a heartbreaking turn of events, the magnificent East Coast Tower met its demise. Nikola Tesla had envisioned a revolutionary idea, clean, renewable energy. He approached J.P. Morgan, a prominent figure of the time, who generously provided Tesla with $150,000 to bring his vision to life. The year was 1898 when Tesla finally revealed his groundbreaking concept of wireless electricity transmission to the world. It was meant to be a project that would push him into well-deserved fame and fortune. However, fate had a different plan in store. Just as the experiment showed promise, Tesla encountered a setback. He needed more money to scale the project up and perfect it on a larger scale. The request for more financial support led to JP Morgan withdrawing his backing, accusing Tesla of violating their agreement. To make matters worse, Morgan went on to support Tesla's competitors, who shamelessly profited from his intellectual properties and ideas. See, in those days, the concept of copywriting was unfamiliar to Tesla. This unexpected twist threw a wrench into the gears of progress for him. Regrettably, Tesla's financial situation took a nosedive. Unable to sustain the project without the benefactor's support, he faced bankruptcy. The once mighty tower was dismantled and sold for parts, marking the devastating end of Tesla's grand dream. Tragically, Tesla passed away in poverty, his name fading into obscurity within the pages of history. Despite having a genius-level IQ and making immense contributions to modern science, his remarkable achievements went unrecognized, unappreciated. Imagine this, a revelation so profound that it has the power to reshape our understanding of history, revolutionize our world. It's a story that uncovers the secrets of the ancient Egyptians, those mysterious architects of the past who left behind a mysterious legacy. And at the heart of it all lies an astonishing truth. See, it turns out that the pyramids, those magnificent structures that have captivated our imaginations for centuries, hold within them a hidden treasure. A treasure that goes far beyond tombs or symbols of power or gold. They were, in fact, the ancient Egyptians' gift to us. A blueprint for using clean, sustainable energy. The ancient Egyptians, with their marvelous mastery of architecture, had already paved the way for a brighter future. They, they had the knowledge, the wisdom, the ability to tap into the source of power that could transform our world. And now, armed with this newfound understanding, we have an opportunity to follow in their footsteps and bring about a better tomorrow. But uh, let's pause for a moment and ponder the magnitude of this realization. How did the ancient Egyptians unlock the secrets of energy storage with such remarkable precision? How did they align the pyramids in such a way that their positioning almost defied belief? These are questions that have intrigued historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts for centuries. Now, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you make of this idea that the pyramids were more than just monumental structures, but rather sophisticated energy storage systems? How do you think that the ancient Egyptians managed to achieve such astonishing precision in their construction? Let us know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you later.